Hi everyone, I'm Nathan with the ebookreader.com. For this video, I've got the Icarus Illumina HD here. Um, this is a new ebook reader. It runs Android 4.2 and it can install Android apps. So uh, I kind of wanted to break down the review into different sections here so it's not so long. So I'm going to focus on the Kindle app for this review and I'll post separate reviews for some of these other apps and e-reader programs on this device. Uh, so like I said, it comes with Android and you can install apps. It does not have the Google Play Store, but you can sideload apps. Uh, through other means, through other app stores. Um, it comes preloaded with this Kindle app, however. Uh, let me go ahead and load this up and show you how it works on this e device. Obviously, this app was designed for tablets, so it has like animations and stuff like on this home screen. It doesn't quite uh, work great on these e screens, but it does work. I kind of like transfer, transferring over here to the uh, book section. If we tap up here, we can go in just to the books and then it'll show it in a list like this instead of with the uh, animated carousel. So I kind of like like that. Okay, so I just reviewed this app on the Onyx Books T68, which is a similar device to this one, except for it has a larger 6.8 inch screen. This one has a 6 inch screen. Uh, with the T68, I had a lot of problems with the uh, store working. For whatever reason, pretty much any time I try to access the store, either the device will crash, or the few times I do get to the store, it has black menus and backgrounds, and it's hard to see anything. But for some reason, on this app, it works totally well. I mean, as you can see, everything lays out. You can see the white background. You got the black text, text, and uh, same goes for the description pages for these books. And when you scroll, it automatically enters that partial refresh mode on the device, so it makes scrolling smoother. Uh, so yeah, I mean, the whole layout of the bookstore works tremendously better on this device. I do not know why exactly, uh, but definitely a major improvement over how it worked on the Onyx T68, where it was all black background and hard to read here and it just kind of crashes, crashes a lot, but you know, for whatever reason on this device it actually worked quite well as far as the Kindle store goes, and I'll go ahead and load up an ebook here and show you how that works as well. Let's go ahead and lo load up this free title as public domain title. Okay, so once the page loads here, um, it's the same deal with the T68. So the Kindle app isn't hard-coded for page buttons, so when you use the page buttons on the device, the um, pages don't turn, so that's kind of uh, something you got to expect with most of the reading apps on here, uh, just like the pre-installed apps, basically reading apps in like the browser and stuff, you can use these to scroll. Uh, but you know, with the uh, e-reading apps, these third-party apps, you usually just have to use the touch screen just like you would a tablet. And you just tap on the screen and your page is four. So as you see, it does sort of an effect. Um, it's a little bit smoother than it is on the T68 for whatever reason. Uh, the font tends to stay darker. It doesn't seem to get as rough around the edges uh, when you do the page forwarding like this. And when it does, this device has this page refresh right there, so anytime you hit that, it will actually refresh the screen and kind of get rid of any ghosting or after images. Um, so, I mean, the app does work pretty well. I mean, everything's nice and smooth. Okay, so all the on-screen features work okay. You highlight a word, you get the dictionary down here, you can also add highlights, notes. Um, we can go ahead and copy stuff onto the clipboard. Uh, some of the other features of the Android app, uh, you can go ahead and launch the full definition of the uh, uh, of the uh, dictionary right there because it's pretty small to read. You can actually get the full page just by clicking the full definition option. Okay, so the one thing you see up here that has the headphone. Uh, so normally, uh, Android apps they support the audiobook integration now uh, with Kindle's immersion reading. Uh, this device doesn't support audio though, so you're not going to be able to do that. So. Uh, that is definitely out as far as the audiobooks go, but we can go ahead and use your other options here. We got the different text brightness or text adjustment features. Okay, one thing I noticed about this app as well is it does use the brightness slider for the front light. Let me show you here. Usually these uh, have the these e-readers kind of have the front light locked, and they don't usually change within the app. But this one it does change within the app. You can just adjust the brightness right there. And can obviously increase the text size and line spacing and all that as well. So overall, I'm pleased with how this app works on the Illumina HD. Uh, everything is nice and smooth. Like I said, you can uh, get books in the Kindle store because it loads and works well. Uh, the only thing is just basically like the page turns do a little bit of a slide when you do that because there's no way to get rid of that. Um, and then the other thing is like with that home screen, it just sort of has a weird layout with the carousel, but I like going to the library view and it's just a little bit easier than like once you scroll it will go to the partial refresh mode so it stays nice and smooth but obviously on the carousel it doesn't in invoke the partial refresh so it's just a little bit rougher as far as that goes.
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this review right here. Check out the ebookreader.com for some additional information on this device. I'm going to be posting some other reviews for it, of course. So uh, if you want more info on it, check that out. And thank you for watching.